Georgian Bay, and the ultimate proving grounds. How bad do you want it? When we say enough is enough, what are you willing to endure to succeed? For us, the answer is simple. Whatever it takes. Strap in and enjoy the ride on our hunt for the Giants of Georgian Bay. My name is Taylor Gostick. Yeah, I'm addicted to fishing. I guess we'll start this off. My name is Brandon, and I started New Way Fishing so that I could share some of my experiences with everybody else, hopefully get them into fishing on Georgian Bay as well, and maybe learn a thing or two along the way. Georgian Bay is one of the most beautiful places in the world. It's just stunning. I, you really gotta, you gotta get out there and check it out. You're going to be blown away from the scene and be lost by the time you go around the first corner. Georgian Bay as a fishery is probably one of the best in the province. It's the land of the giants. I don't have other things to say. We catch your PB in four species in a day. You know. Pike, musky, pickle, and smaller. It just doesn't get better than this. Georgian Bay has a long history with commercial fish harvesting. What started out to settle the demand for fish during the United States Civil War turned into a booming economy with annual harvests of huge proportions. In its prime, commercial fishing on Georgian Bay had operations stretching from Killarney all the way down to Collingwood along the eastern shores. However, now only three operations remain. In 1883, a million pounds of white fish were harvested out of the bay for, commer for commercial use. Uh, continuing until 1893, 1,100 claws of gill nets were being used annually for commercial harvesting. Uh, by 1904, the peak of the Lake Huron and Georgian Bay fish harvest topped out at 27.4 million pounds annually. The commercial fishing in Georgian Bay did lead to some issues. Introduction of smelt and sea lamprey and the alewife introduction in 1933. By 1934, the, the entire walleye population of the bay had collapsed and shortly after, in 1960, the lake trout population collapsed as well. Fortunately, lake trout and walleye rehabilitation efforts did begin in 1983, but across the bay so far, there is still only one proving walleye population that's self-sustaining and only two self-sustaining lake trout populations. In 2003, the alewife population collapsed, and as a result of this, the salmon population uh, was decimated by 2015. Today, commercial fishing still operates on an annual harvest rate of about 3 million pounds a year. Despite the impact commercial fishing has had on Georgian Bay, there is still a history of producing world record sized fish in almost every species. Most notable catches from Georgian Bay include a sturgeon measuring 7 foot long 4 inches and a whopping 176 pounds as well as the infamous Ken O'Brien muskie weighing in at 65 pounds and 58 inches long. A certified world record. Although the numbers of these world record class fish may not be what they used to be, Georgian Bay still has a proven history of being able to generate world record fish. If it could do it once, it can do it again. And we believe that there are more of these records out there just waiting to be caught. Fortunately, fishing on Georgian Bay isn't all sunshine and rainbows. With big water comes big winds, big waves, and lots of danger. It's not for the faint of heart and for the unprepared. Fishing on the bay can be dangerous, and if you're not ready for the day, the elements, and knowing when enough is enough uh, can put you in a bad situation leave you stranded or worse. The best to stay at home on the couch. Despite the potential for these bad conditions, it's the thought 
be able to come into contact with a fish the size of one of these next world records and that keep pushing us forward. You never know when that fish is going to bite and the more often you can be out there, the better chance that it's going to be onto your line. The only downfall about Georgia Bay is that it's so big and there's so much water to cover that if you don't know where you're fishing or where, where to target fish, you can fish an awful lot and get discouraged. Our mission is simple, find and catch the biggest fish that Georgian Bay has to offer. We'll have to put up with bad weather, wind, rain, waves, and all of this trying to keep us from reaching our goals. It won't be easy, with only a limited number of weekends to chase these trophy fish, every cast counts. got a team with a history of catching trophy fish. Each member of the team has, a, has their own strengths and weaknesses that help them put trophy fish in the boat. Successful at fishing is, is the ability to adapt. Persistence determination, and don't be afraid of weather. I think what makes me successful uh, when a lot of other anglers on, on the water fail is the amount of preparation I, I do going into this. I do a lot of prep work at home, whether it's map study, uh, using satellite imagery to help you know, locate these locations, uh, find those hot spots before I even get to the water. You know, conditions change a lot from, <clears throat> from week to week, so we have to make assumptions about what conditions are. Winter's almost over, it's time to hit the water. How many big fish we catch, I don't think it'll ever be enough. I know there's bigger ones out there, and it's only a matter of time before we get them. Tomorrow's a new opportunity. Giants of Georgian Bay, we're coming for you.